poor recovery, so it's exploitable. But like, the mix-ups are still there. She doesn't have good rising aerial options besides like Nair. Right, but like out of shield is no. where you can bully her. Oh yeah, no. unless you overextend like with a really laggy move in front Palutena of her. Palutena in this game is Smash Bros. Palutena, but just faster and with slightly better moves. She still struggles with her rush down. So like I, I heavily believe that Fox and Wolf kind of just. Dumpster I, I, on her. I do think. I um, heavily believe they just dumpster her. Yeah, I, th I think Fox wins for sure. Yeah. You just can get into her like boxing area, and that's where she doesn't want to be. Yeah. She still has trouble approaching. And then her up B is still very, very exploited. Yeah. Yeah, especially with like characters with like super lingering hitboxes that kill, like you know, Ike Eruption. Ike like, Eruption, Mennonite Nair, Jigglypuff's entire aerial kit. Yeah. But right now. Oh, Yoshi Freak, okay. Yoshi Freak has been doing pretty good lately, I feel, with the Game & Watch. Game & Watch, definitely a character that we've seen immense changes from Smash 4, so uh, definitely not a copy-paste character for sure. They changed up this character quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that up air being one of them. Kind of like a Mega Man up air. Ooh, and that's one thing we're going to have to keep track of as well. Yoshi Freak has that bucket online, using the up B aggressively, and there's the ground. Yeah. Wow, what an edge guard from Yoshi Freak. I also know that Game Watch can control where his neutral B goes. He can control the distance. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I heard about that. So he a he can actually, like, set up in zone pretty well. Yeah. He, when, he's at, when you're at ledge, he doesn't have to just randomly hope that it goes towards you. He can actually control it and make sure it sits near you. So much damage. Yoshi Freak still racking this up. Toasty can't land. Yeah, he's using his up air as well. And then right when Toasty wants an air dodge, Yoshi Freak has a read on it. And then he just, like, neutral airs as well. And neutral air in this game, it's such a good, uh, it's like a sword juggling move. Yeah. And now he has bucket. So the one thing that Palutena still has, up air is still disjointed as all heck. Yep. It beats out a lot of moves. Like one of the more notable being like Link and the Link's down air. It just completely beats the move out. It like it doesn't even get close to her. That's crazy. Yeah, so and it has less ending life too, right? Yeah. From Smash 4. So good. You also can drag down. It's fun. Wait, but did Yoshi hard. Freak lose a bucket charge? He's not at full bucket. He only has two. But he was at full, right? Do you yeah. lose a charge when you die? I guess you do. That's Interesting. Because he, you know, no, he definitely got full charge off of that explosive player. Right? Yeah, he definitely got full charge. I saw the flash. Huh. It's weird. Oh. Okay. Yep. Woo. Palutena's counter is still not good in this game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's still still trash, but, you know. And the hitbox is weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen it, like, just whiff and, like, not. Oh, yeah. It is It is by far the worst counter in this game. Oh, man. But Yoshi Freak, here comes the Nair Combos. Tries to get to the, the drift to the right. But Toasty going to drift to the left there. Anti-air up tilt. Ooh, up air almost connects as well. Man, that up B is such a fast tool. Yoshi Freak can essentially put his body underneath, cover low, and then if he wants, he can just put a hitbox up high, which is so yeah. good. Toasty's just having a lot of trouble landing right now. Yeah, these up airs are doing such a good job. Oh, and this should That's be the stock. Yeah. That forward smash. Oh, oh wow. wow. Cross stage, not enough. Palutena is light as all heck, too. I wonder if Yoshi Freak should have just up smash there. Like, I I'm not too sure which move is stronger. Oh, I know F tilt's a really strong move. If, if he gets hit by F tilt, he's done. Oh, I like the landing there as well. Pretty soon, and almost any move is gonna oh, kill. Oh, that missed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, there's a chair. I wonder That's if dash attack would kill too. I am pretty sure at this point it would. How take this light character? And it's 166. Oh, there's a down tilt, two frame, but a little bit too much rage. But the forward air connects 166% here on the toasty. Can the comeback happen? The Nair says no. Oh, I can't <laughs> land against this character. Yeah, Yoshi Freak doing a really good job. The new combine, like the combined pressure of Nutra and uh, up air, is so good. And the fact that Palutena can't use her zoning tools because Game One can just bucket it right up. Yeah. And then he has a kill. He has a kill move. Yeah, this matchup does look. I mean, I don't know these two characters like a lot, a lot, but I mean. I still feel Palutena wins this matchup. You just okay. need to play. Def you need really to play different. lame. Yeah. But not like projectile lane. Just kind of like fade back fair and bear in the lane. Like. And then call out his like upbeat and like aerial approaches with like Nair. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, your back air still doesn't lose any aerial, right? So. Yeah, it's still transcendent. It's only invincible for one frame though. Wow, really? Only one frame. And then also there's That's a. It? Yeah, it's one frame. And there's also a dead box between the shield and her arm. Oh, I see. It. So if I back air directly on top of you, there's a good chance it'll whiff. That's another move that got extremely buff, is that Game & Watch down smash, getting that berry, and it's a long berry too, it's hard to mash out of. 
Here comes Daenerys from Toasty. So he does have that slight lead, but just like one hit. Oh man, and another thing that, that is a really big change for Game & Watch is that up B, the, uh, you know like the firemen on the side that have yeah. the trampoline? That's a hitbox now. That's it's not a hitbox now? It's a hitbox. It's not a win box. So up B out of shield is extremely strong. Yikes. Like extremely strong. Like it's a hitbox, it's so good. And it pops you up too, it kind of like just disengages you from all the pressure. So, so good. Okay, I, I feel like Toasty has gotten a little bit more comfortable in this matchup. We haven't seen any projectiles so far. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with Bucket at all. Right. He's and, not even risking it. Right, and like like you said, he's doing a lot more fares, a lot more bears. Yeah. That almost killed. Like, that's, that move is so strong. Oh, he delayed that a beach a little bit too long. Yeah. Unfortunate ST, but Yoshi Creek will take that. Okay, trying to get this uh, more damage going here. Toasty with the dash attack. We're going to get stuffed out by the turtle. Oh. Okay, back air coming out. Ooh, another yeah. call out. And what? That killed. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. He was yeah, probably expecting like been. an air affair. Yeah. Had to have been. But nonetheless, both players at one stock apiece. Look at that upbeat. He got hit by the fireman on the side. So good, man. Yeah, that's, that's like amazing. And it still sends him up really, really high. He can directional air dodge after he uh, dismisses the parachute. So, One thing I do want to see is Toasty grab just a little bit. Because Peloton doesn't get anything really amazing off of it. Like, down throw Nair isn't really true against most of the cast. Right. But like, right. it's still like an option to do down throw. Fa down throw fairy is still true. And if you can catch him off guard with it, down throw Aurora Bear is a kill, kill option. Oh, the up smash going to cover the landing. And Yoshi Freak looking like this uh, 2 0 is going to be. A thing here. Oh, big, already 32. Tries to get the reset with the down air, but Toasty is able to land. Toasty trying to get this down, um, down tilt to connect, but I just feel like he's pulling the trigger a little too early. Or that Nair is just gigantic instead of no. <laughs> the fish is putting in the work. Dude, like. Yeah, to Toasty can't land. Yeah, the Nair is just gigantic. Oh, that down smash. Oh, man, that might have actually killed him. It's crazy. Yeah, Toasty is. Having a tough time landing and just finding a way in on Yoshi Freak in general. And showing because he just getting thrown around the place. Oh, oh man, that grab was. That uh, makes me sad. Yeah. That's so close. Oh, there's explosive aim. Should do it. Game watch very, very light. Gonna. It, since he wasn't like really spamming it, okay, that's gonna be it. Yep. Yep. The down smash from Yoshi Freak. 2 0. -oh. Good stuff to both players, but Yoshi Freak is gonna take it at the end. Good game watch. Oh yeah, amazing game and watch. And I really like the utilization of the, the up air and the nares were really, really nice. Um, always kind of going for those down smashes, not 